Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today, we're continuing my spring decorating series here in our kitchen. Now, if you remember, we've already decorated two areas, our coffee bar back here, as well as a complete makeover in our master bedroom. So if you happen to miss those, I'll go ahead and have them linked down below in a spring playlist. Now, if you are new, my name is Amy and welcome to Simply Our Home. Like I mentioned, I am in my spring decorating series where I go room to room as I decorate my home for those seasons. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I hope you would consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. As far as today, I'll be sharing many spring vignettes for your countertops, as well as a tablescape and centerpiece that is super simple and cute for Easter, as well as just spring decor. So if that sounds like something that you are excited to see, definitely keep on watching. Give me a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. We'll do a little bit of cleaning as well as decorating here in the kitchen for spring. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here's your first peek into our kitchen this morning. I've gone ahead and taken all of the decor off of our countertops, except for those items that are definitely staying. Now, if you are new, we're blessed to have this extra space in our kitchen with this breakfast nook area. I nestled our coffee bar into a corner and we absolutely love it here. We eat most of our meals at our kitchen table, but if there's a special occasion or more than our family of four, we will move into our dining room. As far as today goes, I do want to clean off our countertops before adding any spring decor. Plus, I did notice that our stove top is a bit grimy, so I want to get to that today. And since there is a change in seasons, I always love to grab my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaners for their refreshing scent. Today, I'll be using one of my favorites for spring, which is the honeysuckle scent. This product I think works wonders for cleaning up burn on food as well as buffing out minor scratches on your glass stovetops. It's called Cerama Bright Cleaner. It comes as a kit on Amazon with the solution, scouring pad, and scraper. So I'll try to link it down below, but I absolutely love it for cleaning our cooktop. Into the One of the easiest ways I find to decorate for the seasons is to simply change out your kitchen tea towels. These ones here I picked up from TJ Maxx. If you happen to miss my spring haul from there, I'll go ahead and have it linked down below for you. Adding a touch of softness with tea towels makes an otherwise cold and sterile environment like your kitchen because it has all those cold appliances and straight lines of cabinetry really will make it feel more cozy and welcoming. I like to look for ones that have a bit of detail like these that have a little small lace 
detail at the bottom or even just a simple fringe to add a bit more interest. I love the look of adding a lamp to the kitchen. It gives it a soft, cozy feel in the evenings. Plus, I like to use a smart outlet like this one so that all I have to do is say lights on and then boom, all my lights come on in the evening so that my Roomba can help me clean the floors while I sleep. This is a mini lamp from Target, and I did do a switcheroo with the lamp over on the coffee bar, but I think both fit the spaces a little bit better. Next, I'm coming in with this planter that was a big hit when it first arrived at Walmart, but instead of a planter, I'm going to use it as a crock and put most of my wooden utensils so that they're very convenient for when I'm cooking. Then for a pop of greenery, I'm adding in a faux rosemary plant to further hide that little cord and also just decorate in a set of three. I love to decorate with both new and old pieces. So this beautiful antique copper tea kettle is one that I love to display on our stovetop. Now, of course, kitchens have to be functional. So I'm bringing in this unique shaped cutting board from Hobby Lobby to contain and house the oil and vinegar set that I got from Hearth and Handline at Target, along with another everyday essential salt and pepper shakers. Now these came from Kirkland's. If you've been here a while, you know that I love to disguise my outlet. So I'm going to go in with this thrifted vase that I used a DIY age technique to get this high end look. And then to it, I'll be adding one of my favorite florals for springtime, which is lavender. For this next spring vignette, I'm coming in with this beautiful spring art piece from Hobby Lobby, which if you remember, I have the coordinating piece setting on our shelves at our coffee bar. In order to hang it to our backsplash, what I did was attach a wall hook upside down so that the hook will slide right behind the outlet cover, but it also causes it to stick out just a little bit at the top. So I'm also stacking a couple of felt pads to the bottom so that the picture doesn't hang downward. Next, of course, who doesn't love a canister filled with cookies? This one is from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. To the opposite side, I'm bringing in this mini wreath from the Target Dollar Spot, along with this adorable brown rabbit from Hobby Lobby. What I'm loving most about the spring is the use of dark and light materials to create a beautiful contrast. Then with the addition of greenery, it just makes all the neutral colors just pop. Now I did want to go ahead and place a cookbook here so that I can grab it real easily when I'm cooking. And then I thought it would look really nice with this striped book box that came from Hobby Lobby. I can even hide some of our most favorite recipes inside of it as well. Then to complete this vignette, I just wanted to add a bit of warmth with a wooden piece. So this mortar and pestle piece from TJ Maxx fit the bill. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river. Get down on your knees. Come to the mountain. Well, take it in the view. You will find the life is greater than you knew when you go through the At the end of this counter, I always keep out my KitchenAid. It's very close to the sugar and flour, which is super convenient. And one way I like to dress it up for all the seasons is to change out the mixing bowl. This one is from TJ Maxx. I love that it's still neutral but it has some cute bunnies and flowers for a spring touch. Once again, I wanna cover up those pesky outlets and what better way to do this than to come in with a large cutting board. This one is from Walmart, so I'm gonna slip that behind the KitchenAid, also concealing its cord, and then I'm going to layer in front of that a beautiful He Is Risen sign that is also from Walmart to add an Easter touch. Continuing to add to the baking theme, I'll place this wooden rolling pin. And then how adorable are these measuring cups that were from TJ Maxx? They have a little stamped bunny on them that are perfect for spring. 
Last but not least, to finish off this vignette, I'm coming in with another TJ Maxx find. I love the green canister. It ties in with all the other green items I have going on in our kitchen. And then I'm just placing some of my favorite Real Field tulips from Amazon to finish up our spring kitchen counters. Moving right along, I've gone ahead and laid everything out here behind me that I'd like to use for my kitchen island centerpiece. First, I'm starting out with this thrifted basket. I love using baskets. They give tons of warmth and texture to a space. Then I'm going to add sprigs of my favorite greenery. Now, if you have been here for a while, you know that is the Green Baby's Breath Garland that is from Hobby Lobby. So I just went ahead and took off a few pieces of that and I'm going to lay that to one side. Then I'm taking more of those real field tulips to fill one side of the basket. I want it to look like I went out into a cottage garden and maybe pick some tulips to bring inside. You'll also see that some of the tulips I'm keeping them long while others I am bending just to create a more gathered look. And then I'm going in in any empty space and filling it with more of that green baby's breath to give it a really nice uniform look. Once again, to add a layer of softness, I'm coming in with another green tea towel, which I'll place a Southern Living at Home vase. Now, I used to be a consultant with them, so I took this red vase and used that DIY technique to make it look a little bit more aged, as well as match my more neutral decor. And then to it, I'll add this beautiful lavender to create a cohesive look. And then I thought down in front, it would be super cute to add a couple of the Target Dollar Spot ceramic bunnies to complete the kitchen island centerpiece. Now we can hop on over to our breakfast nook and I'll share with you a simple, cute tablescape idea for spring or even Easter. We are still loving our kitchen table that we refinished. Can you guys believe it's already been almost a year now? Time is just flying by. But if you're new or maybe missed that video, I can link it down below for you. For all my wood surfaces, I really love to use the seventh generation wood cleaner. I love it because it has a soft, fresh scent and it doesn't leave behind any residue. For the entire tablescape, except for one small item, I am using things that I already had. The placemats were from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure that I saw them this year, but I know you can find similar ones on Amazon. I'm using these neutral chargers that Hobby Lobby does still have. I really do love these chargers. They're one of my favorites. I love that they're neutral and can go with any type of style. Next, I'll be coming in with just some plain white dinnerware. I think you can't go wrong here. You can use them in every season. Now, the ones that I am using are from Walmart. They were in their Better Homes and Garden line. They no longer have this specific kind, but they definitely have ones that would work. And then for the cherry on top, I want to share with you a super adorable way to fold your napkins into the shape of a bunny. So first, I'm taking a pack of four napkins that were from Kirkland's. And now you'll also need a clear elastic band that you can find in Walmart or Target in their hair supplies. So the first thing you want to do is fold your napkin in half and then half again so that you make a long rectangle. Next, you'll find the center of your rectangle and a center point. Then you'll fold both top corners down like so. Step three is to fold the outer bottom corner up towards the center on both sides, creating a diamond shape. Next, you're going to take your left and right corners of your diamond towards the center, and this is making the ears of your little bunny. Step 
Step five, make sure to keep everything together. Flip the napkin over, rotating it 180 degrees. Now fold up that bottom triangle to the center point, creating a straight line along the bottom. Next, flip it back around once again, folding in your outer corners and then secure the whole thing with a clear elastic band. And then last but not least, the only thing you need to do is fluff and create your ears, shape them the way you want them, bend one down if you would like. And then all that is left is to place them in the center of your dinner plate for an adorable napkin embellishment. For our kitchen table centerpiece, I like to keep everything kind of low and contained within a tray. The tray I'm using is one that I found from TJ Maxx. I love the unique handles as well as the striping along the edges. Next, I'm coming in with this, I think it's called a pythos plant in this ceramic bowl. It was from the Threshold brand at Target last year at $25. And I just love that you can kind of arrange it around what you set in the center of your tray. Next, to coordinate with the base of the lamp that is over on the coffee bar, I'm adding this tall pitcher. I believe I got this at TJ Maxx. Now, the only new item that I picked up this year that is making its way into this year's tablescape is this cute little container with the rabbit on top that was from Walmart. And I'm going to just fill that with one of our favorite spring or Easter candies, which is the Hershey's Easter eggs. You'll have to let me know what is one of your favorite Easter treats. I'd love to know. For convenience as well as functionality, I'm adding these hammered copper salt and pepper shakers that were from Hobby Lobby, and that will pretty much finish the clean and decorate here in our kitchen for spring. But don't click out just yet. I want to give you a quick mini tour of the complete space now that it is decorated for spring before we wrap up today's video. Also, if you're needing more spring decorating ideas, I can link last year's kitchen clean and decorate with me here at the end of today's video so you can continue watching and get even more spring inspiration. Now, many of you have reached out and asked where you can get or listen to the music that I place in my videos. Well, I use Epidemic Sound. Now, currently they are running a spring special where you get a 60 day free trial when you sign up. So I thought I would just pass that along just in case you were interested and I'll have that linked down in the description box so you can maybe take advantage of this promotion. All right, sweet friends. Well, that wraps up today's spring cleaning and decorating here in our kitchen. You'll have to let me know which area did you enjoy the most or what vignette are you most excited about maybe recreating in your homes? I had a blast putting this together, so I hope that you did too. And if you did, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you did enjoy today's video and haven't already, I hope you would hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back. Now, before we end our time together, I love to share with you a daily Bible verse. So go ahead, grab your Bibles, or I'll have it up here on the screen and we can read along together. Today, we'll be reading from Psalm chapter 33, verses 20 and 21. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. 
Thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Just know that spring is coming, so if the weather isn't right, it'll be here soon. Take care and God bless friends, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.